So I'm in the midst of changing out all the blocks on the boat. Uh, I was taking a closer look at them and I was uh, noticing that a lot of the bearings are blown out. Uh, a lot of the sheaves are worn. So what I've done is I've been ordering a lot of uh, Garhar blocks um, made in the USA. I actually saw these on an adjacent boat here in the marina and I did some research on them and really good quality. Uh, especially for the price so um, that's you know I got a bunch of these on order they're actually making them they're not even in stock so they're making them to order which is really nice and uh, I'll show you I got a sheave here that I took off these are from the Traveler and uh, the bearings in here are just turning to dust I don't know if you can pick that up on the camera there but they're just toast and so this is becoming a, a very costly project um, I think for this double right here is, I think it's right around 50 bucks. And, uh, you know, just for those alone, there's $200. So I'm well into uh, this very deeply. Um, however, I think the performance is going to be great. I got some new sheaves right here for the Traveler. These are not Garhar, unfortunately. I couldn't find uh, any uh, sheaves uh, made by uh, uh, Garhar. So these I just got from West Marine. Hey, so I wanted to thank everybody who commented on uh, my reefing setup here. I think you're absolutely correct. I've gone ahead and I have made the adjustment of tying the clue down to the boom. And it actually has really improved the angle of, of this uh, reef line here. So thanks guys. I really appreciate it. And I'm super stoked to try it out. So thanks for your advice. Alright, I haven't talked about the coolant in a while. But I want to show you guys that ever since I messed with the water heater and tightened those uh, hose clamps, we got coolant. You can see that green down in there if I can get this light just right. And the uh, level hasn't changed and I'd say probably a good six to eight hours of motoring. And uh, before six to eight hours of motoring would have completely emptied this whole unit out and so we're looking good um i know it's a little difficult to see but hopefully you guys can can catch a glimpse of the green in there and like i said the the level hasn't changed so finally i can cross off the uh, leaky coolant and uh, i don't have to worry about it anymore on to the next project all right so i forgot to show you guys at the end of the anchor refit uh, video on how this uh, anchor chain works here so tanya is going to go ahead and she's going to be uh, hauling up the anchor here in a second and uh, tanya go ahead when you're ready so what's happening is the windlass is, is back there and it's going through that small mouth and then it'll just run down this tube and it's going to go ahead and dump it in, in the center now of where I have this located and it'll pile up you'll see it'll pile up to a certain amount and now it'll just kind of self self you know flake itself out here as soon as it gets too big and that'll you know free me up from having to run down here all the time and push this mound over So there we have it now it's just spilling to the back of it right there so anyway that's how she works well we got a little bit of fog this morning uh, nothing too bad uh, we've been in way worse actually uh, the visibility is it's, it's not bad so it'll blow over here real soon it's gonna be a really nice day uh, currently we got 11 knots of wind off the nose so I know as soon as we fall off that that'll dissipate a little bit but I got the spinnaker up on the bow so we're, we're ready to uh, hoist that and make a probably a, a broad reach all the way 25 nautical miles to Jones Island today and uh, if you uh, have caught up on some of the previous videos you may remember that's where the deer are so yes we brought some apples and we are prepared to fill their bellies so it should be a lot of a lot of fun it's one of my favorite places out here in the uh, San Juans and the fog actually already seems like it's it's kind of thinning out yeah. so looks like it's gonna be a big day though um, probably four to six hours uh, we'll just have to see how it goes so There 
she is. Not on the lips. Not on the lips. Hey, give me a kiss on the cheek. <laughs> Good deal. Man, this is one of the best sails we've had in a while. I think we're cruising around like 4.7 knots. Just got the head sail and the main sail up. Didn't have to screw around with the spinnaker today. It's nice and level. I think everybody's nice and comfortable. We're just having some snacks and enjoying the view. So, just like I thought, it was going to turn out to be a really beautiful day. Haven't even seen any other boats. We got it all to ourselves today. You're gonna run it over. Slow down. Okay, I got it. Ugh, I can't pull it out at all. Oh, this isn't one of the ones. That... It's gotta be. Come in. There it goes. Jeez. Okay, well, we just got in, picked up the mooring ball, and there's actually 
three balls available. I only remember two. And uh, right before we got here, that uh, catamaran over on the left hand side got the last dock space. That would have been real nice to uh, get the dock for the dog. But we'll just drop this bad boy right here and uh, we'll get uh, the dog who is still waiting patiently. She's been a good girl. Uh, we'll get her to land. Uh, 4.06. 4.06, we left at 10.30, so about five and a half hours. Let's see here, if I go to tracks, we put down 26.93 miles today. So it was about a 50-50 mix of sailing and motoring. Uh, I really wanted to try to sail absolutely as much as possible. And uh, well, I guess that was as much as possible. I mean, the wind just was nothing there for a while. And so in order to get here and still have some light of, of day, uh, we had to kick on the motor. But uh, we made it safe. Let's cut up some apples and get to shore. Happy dog, happy dog. If you like this video, please remember to hit the like button and subscribe.